Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Mill. Uh, let's see. They're deciding if they want to play or not. Uh, looks like we have a pretty crummy hand. We're going to have to mulligan. Uh, we'll keep this. Probably go ahead and just dump a watery grave. Yeah, let's do that. Why take life when you don't have to? And we'll hope for some, like, turn one plays, maybe? Another drown catacomb. Not exactly what we're looking for there. Gonna hold off on playing breaking, too, till we can get the fraying sanity down. 100%. Okay, tome scour. Tome scour. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I think we're just gonna hold off on everything until we put fraying sanity down. They're not doing much yet, so... We'll just be a little patient. All right, cool. We'll have a we'll have a good turn next turn as this survives, which I think it will. Um, we're playing a Demir deck as well, so we'll see what we got going here in a second. Arcane Adaption. Choose a creature type. Chosen type in addition to their. Uh, okay. Interesting. I don't know where this combo is going to go. Vampire. Okay. Okay. So I got some vampire tribal going, huh? That's interesting. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and get stuff popping, and then we can refill with, uh, into the story, obviously. Should be nice. Well, we're gonna hit him for quite a bit here. 26 cards worth. Oh, what was that? Worm. Hold on, I missed the trigger on that. He got something pretty dang decent. He's setting up with Soren. Put a vampire out. Okay. That sucks. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, Frank Sanity. Luckily, we don't have much left as far as milling goes, so let's go ahead and just do this now. Maybe we'll get a Tome Scour. Okay, Drown the Lock's not bad. We'll be able to combat this Rider next turn. And we can get back a breaking with Mystic Sanctuary. Not too shabby, not too shabby. We, we gotta play out one more land, uh, one more island before the Sanctuary gets into, gets into play. But we've got our turn set up. We got things to do. Another Frank Sanity. How nifty. I will do that. Actually, should not have done that. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was stupid of me. Because uh, when this thing dies, they get to exile a target permanent, too. So, that's actually pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Shoot. I just... Really wrecked myself there. Uh, I think we'll go for the destroy, though. I think we have to. Yeah, I messed that up. I messed that up. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They only got 22 cards left. Uh, I still feel pretty good. Murderous Rider. Okay. We're all about that life gain. Alright, let's put this back. We'll grab the... Breaking. Say okay. Say yes. We'll put down one of these, and then we'll Tome Scour, 
And we'll do an into the story at end of turn. Uh, we won't miss it this time, I promise. Alright. It's getting loud. Should be looking in here. Haven't been. Oh, they've got. They're playing with Ulamog? Oh, great. Lovely. So we got Ulamog in here, which is a vampire now. So I guess that's their plan, is to try to get Ulamog out for free with Soren, because it's a vampire, because of the arcane adaption. Pretty interesting. Alright, 3-4, that's fine. Didn't want to miss my end step card draw like I did last time we played. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, we could just finish him off. So let's go ahead and finish him off. Boom. Boom. The countering. Okay. Drawing cards. I don't see how that's going to help them. Shuffle into its owner's library. Okay. So, they got two worms in their, like, <laughs> in their library still, which is hilarious. Uh, does that mean I can, like, never fully mill them? Oh my gosh, I can't fully mill them. What? What? <laughs> oh no. That's uh that's interesting, huh? The last two cards are their great worms. And I can't fully mill them, mill them because they're in the library. What an interesting interaction that is. Hmm. Okay. So how do I need to run this? I guess we're just gonna pass. <laughs> and they're on a two turn clock because they're gonna draw their cards now. That's hilarious. Weird. Alright. They're on a two-turn clock. Got seven cards in hand. They gotta do some work. Yeah, they're still in trouble. Alright, let's see what they put out. So, are they gonna do the Great Worm then? Because it's a vampire? Yep, okay, so 15-15. Create three five fives when it dies. Let's put into a shuffle into Okay. Hmm. Huh, huh, huh. And we're gonna die from that, though. We're gonna die from that next turn. And if we destroy it, it's just going to go back in their library. So what a crazy stalemate we're at, but they're going to get the win it looks like because we can't we can't get rid of their last thing. This is not going to matter. This thing's going to just keep getting shuffled in, and we're going to die from the Great Worm. Okay. Alright, so... Got a... Uh, ooh, Consuming Aberration is actually super clutch. That's the only thing that's going to save us right now. Okay. That's the only thing that's going to save us right now, and hopefully they can't kill it. It's a 48, 48, 
and we can block this this worm for one turn. How nuts is that, man? I mean, we'll attack store and make sure they can't put anything else out, I suppose. Okay, if they can kill the apparition, we die. Uh, we would have died anyways. Uh, assuming apparition was the best thing we could have pulled there. Because we can block this. We can just eat this entire worm. And they have zero cards, so this is their last turn. If they can't kill us right here, it's all over. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Gains haste. Fudge, man. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, and they exile. Wow. Cool. Cool deck. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, let's... Um, how do we work with this here? We're going to have two of those worms to deal with. They have a lot of big creatures too, so like Fatal Push isn't even that good. I guess we just run it back, but that's uh. I suppose we could bring in some thought collapses, but uh. Jeez, I don't know. We need to. Do something about those great worms. Ah, it's a crazy game. That's one of those crazy games. Really crazy. We had to play that apparition. We had to. Apparition. Uh, we could have done Drown and Lock, I guess. No, we would have just died from that creature card anyways. Return creature from the to your graveyard from to the battlefield. That was 8 damage right there. Man, crazy. Yeah, I don't know what else we could really use. Uh... Hmm. I need a better sideboard. We will play first. Uh, Alright, yeah, that's a keepable hand. I can dig it. Looks like we have a couple turns to set up. Start getting stuff cranking, drown secrets. Pass to them. If they'll allow us. There we go. Okay. Passing. Say no to that. Go mind sculpt. Hit them for a good amount. We hit a new Lamog. We didn't hit the Great Worm yet. Hit an Arcane. We hit two Arcane Adaptions. That'll help us a lot. That takes our combo offline with Soren. Pretty cool combo with Soren though. Pretty nuts. Ah, they still had one. Okay. Combo's about to be online. Pretty cool combo, though, I will say. Let's, uh, let's get our aggro on, shall we? I think I'm, I think I'm thinking we get our aggro on.
We're doing a pretty decent job of the mill right now. We haven't hit any great worms yet. Let's see if Soren comes out. There's Soren. Alright, hopefully they can't destroy our Vantress. If they've got a fatal push, it'd be pretty sucky. Okay, they just put out the great room straight away. Well. Let's go to combat. Let's attack Soren. We're just gonna have to chump block this world guy, but we're gonna take, like, a frick ton of damage, which sucks. But this is all we can do. Can't really kill them with Vantress, and Soren was definitely the better thing to take out. So. I got enough for Bond of Revival, though. We hit two of them. Do we hit any more? We hit three. Alright, so we hit three of the Bond of Revival. That's nice. Did they have the fourth? Wow, they had the fourth. That's amazing. Holy crap. Uh, so they're hitting us for 15. Wow. Wow. Holy crap, dude. Well, that was a lot faster of a game. That's for sure. We hit three Bond of Revivals. They had the perfect hand. The perfect hand. Gotta give it to them. It's a cool deck. I like it. I like it. Uh, but dang, dude. We couldn't do squat. We got an island play Manic Scribe him for... We had him close, but we still would have had to deal with those Great Worms, too. Yeah, what can you do? Hopefully you guys enjoyed, though. Pretty cool matchup. Uh, leave a like, subscribe for more Mill if you like it, and we will see you guys in the next one.